Okay, yeah. I guess we are going. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to episode 13 of the I Hate Matt Wolf podcast. With me, your host, Matt Wolf. Um, I missed last week and... I haven't been doing a lot um, on my site or on YouTube or anything um, because I've been going through a very rough period and um, yeah, it's just been really fucking hard um, the last couple weeks and um, hopefully things will start picking up and things won't be as fucked um even though the neighbors across the street are fucking assholes so we'll see how that goes <clears throat> so um even though i'm a sad old sap right now let's um get to the stuff um the shout outs um, the people who make this show possible are Michael M, Deb K, Jess Dub, and Jess. So thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you run over to patreon.com slash Matt Wall, um, you too can get in there. And I also um, posted a cover song up there this week of one of my favorite Howlin' Wolf songs. <clears throat> So that was really fun to do. Um, and I can't really do those anywhere else. So that's where cover songs end up on Patreon. Um, so there is that. <sighs> um, so one of the things that I'm doing right now that is uh, causing me great agony is um, we are selling the trailer and we are selling the property down in the desert. And um, I know I've talked about this a little bit, but it's not getting any easier. It's still really, really difficult. And I'm dealing with people, because um, I like the trailers up on Facebook Marketplace. And the questions I'm getting from these people are fucking just ridiculous. And then like people like even though it says like what city this is in um people have been hitting me up from like arizona and nevada and then like after we talk and settle on a price and everything they're like oh wow that's really far uh people swear to god So anyway, that's making my life a little bit difficult right now. On a side note, another thing that's making my life difficult is that whenever I watch YouTube, I get ads for Google Fi. I don't know if you've seen these ads. I'm sure you have if you've been on YouTube. It is, um, well, first off, it's the phone plan that can, okay? And that seems to be the only type of rhyming that they feel the need to um, instill in their um, viewers. They are horribly animated, horrible artwork. And it's like, like, I'm just trying to picture the meeting where they're like, oh, you know what we should do? We should have this crappy cartoon. And then like, just write some sales copy and then just have like random people kind of kind of sing the sales copy but like they don't have to and it's just like the the most awful shit and it doesn't make me want to get google fi it makes me remember google fi but not in a good way so it's just like um goodbye something happened over here and then this happened then damn or like i have a phone and now i'm going to use it it's like what the fuck is happening right now like this is like um tethering like what the fuck is happening um god they're the most fucking like i don't know if it's like my add or what but 
man, like, have you ever, like, heard noises that made you want to kill people? Like, oh, it's so fucking frustrating. Anyway, so enough about that. Um, in other news, I was trying to do a Dracula read-along, which I still am doing. But, like, I feel like the read-along, I was, I was trying to do, like, let's do, like, a chapter and then talk about the chapters. And then I hit this stretch in the middle of Dracula where nothing fucking happens. And it's really dull. And it was getting really hard for me to do, like, a chapter a day. So, um, I'm just waiting for it to end. And, like, any time now I could, like, go do a video of the rest of the book. So that's probably how I'm going to do this. So, um, sometime this week I'll post, um, the rest of the Dracula, um, review, read along thing. Um, have you guys been reading it? How are you guys digging it? You guys like it? Let me know. Um, and then where is it? Mm, let's just sit up here. Oh. So, um, 13 Miles South of Hell is out now on Etsy. Um, this is my Halloween poems, like kind of horror-inspired poetry. Um, you could take a gander at that. Um, I will have links down below. And also the uh, Lovecraft Built This House um, broadside is up on Etsy now. And um, today, I just did the reading for the audiobook for the upcoming, where is this? Let's go over here. Fingering the Mundane by me, by this guy. All right. Um, and there's so much I want to say right now um, because these poems were written so long ago, um, like five years ago. And some change. I have changed so much as a person. And the world has changed so much. That um, it's really, really strange reading words that I wrote that were pre-COVID. Pre-everything that's happened in the last two years. You know, um, a lot of the things I say in there, I don't feel the same anymore. I feel like it's a different world with different rules now and things have to be looked at in a different light. And, um, it's funny because I was saying in the reading that, um, like as much as I don't feel those ways a hundred percent anymore. I feel like I have to like, I can't like just like throw those poems out because I don't feel like that anymore. Those poems are like a timestamp of my life, you know? And, um, I think it's important for me at least to see how far I've come as a fucking human to see the growth in like my soul and shit like that. And then it's funny cause in the book there's a poem and it's like later on towards the end of the book, there's a poem called DNF and it's about um, people wanting to like bury um, literature from the past because of the people who wrote it were bad people and stuff like that. And it's just like, I still feel that way. Like you can't change the, you can't change history by pretending it didn't happen, you know? And that's just a really strong fucking feeling. But just reading those poems today, um, really, really just like, it just struck me how different I am. 
And um, it's actually kind of shocking because one of the underlining themes in a lot of that poetry in that book is apathy. And um, I think in the pre-COVID world, <clears throat> apathy was probably a very noble fucking way to go. And if everyone was apathetic, the world probably would have been a lot better because no one would have been telling you how to live, how to fuck, how to fucking dress, how to fucking be and all this other shit. And, um, I think, um, COVID and I'm, I'm, I'm using COVID as more of a timestamp than as the disease because like, there's pre-COVID and post-COVID, okay? Like, there is no, like, we can't go back to how life was before that. Because so many things have changed. The way people look at people is so fucking different now. Um, we were talking about it the other day, how, like... There are people that when I, when I see them, I just get fucking angry. And, um, like, just like on the street, like I'll see somebody and the way they look or present themselves or what slogan they're like throwing out into the universe or whatever. It, it would never have bothered me before. I would have just said, oh, that's what that dude's into. But now it's like I get pissed. I get fucking angry. And um, it's just a completely different world. And because of how every side has weaponized every fucking emotion and every fucking feeling, we can't just go back to people just like not giving a shit about what other people think and what other people do. And um, seeing all of the injustice that has fucking taken place, um, it's fucking impossible to just sit idly by and fucking watch life happen without doing something about it. So, um, I don't know. And I know there's a lot of you out there who still feel at least how I used to feel um, as far as like the world is a cesspool of shit. It's fucking choking on its own vomit. Oh, well. And um, just in the last couple months, um, I feel like for me, oh, well, isn't good enough anymore. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. But oh well isn't good enough anymore. So that's my soapbox for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so I'm going to read a couple poems for you right now. Since I've been reading all day, might as well continue. So these are poems I've written in the last week here. Um, this is called Trash Can Seriousness. I was on the other side of the motel room, crushed an empty can of beer, and threw it at the trash can. It flew off the side. I couldn't understand the physics of the thing. I got up and walked over, picked up the can, walked it to the trash, and dropped the can above the trash, and I missed again. I stared down, completely confused. Was I standing in a strange vortex where gravity didn't work the same as everywhere else? I picked up the beer can, and with all my might, I swung my arm down at a devastating, curving arc, hurling the can just inches from the trash. It hit the lip of the container, bounced back up, hitting me right above the right eye, making a small incision above my brow. I brought my foot down hard on the empty beer can, crushing it even more, making a flat aluminum pancake. Wounded, slowed my breath, my grunting stopped. Could feel my blood pressure lowering. I stared at the trash can, 
and slowly backed away. Knowing housekeeping would be here to fight my battle for me in the morning. Uh, simple economics. <clears throat> it was the first time I had been in a guitar shop for nearly 10 years. Some of the guitars were the same and some were different. There were still the fenders made in Mexico and Korea. There were even a ton of Gretches, some Ibanez, Epiphone, Gibson. Then a bunch I'd never heard of. While choosing which one to make a fool of myself on, I noticed something strange. Where was the mid-range? The prices on the guitars were 150 200 275 300 Then the jump, 895 950 1275 and up, etc. If anyone ever tries to tell you that the middle class is thriving, take them to the guitar center and have them look around. The middle class is dead. Okay, um, now this next one, um, I'm going to read. This is kind of, this is kind of the, um, feeling I've had lately. I posted this. Wait, did I post this? Yeah, I posted, well, shit, did I? I don't remember if I did or not. Um, this is called You Don't Belong Here. I pulled up to the old desert property for the first time in months. The place looked a wreck, everything in disarray, trash everywhere, flowing like the water that had never been there but that I had always hoped for. It felt weird being in a ghost town of my own creating. The ground squirrels were gone, the ravens were gone, the roadrunners were gone, the iguanas were gone. There was a jackrabbit running away from me. It stopped and looked at me as if saying, You don't belong here. Jack was right. I didn't. The only person who belongs here is one who accepts their own death to feed the scavengers of the vast sand. I observed all my broken dreams, saw the carcasses of all my past purchases that were supposed to improve my life. Tumbleweeds weren't even inspired to blow by. This lot was too dead even for them. The rats, the almighty desert wood rats had won. They, let me see, where am I? They destroyed my trailer, chewed through everything, shit on everything, pissed on everything, nothing was left. I closed my eyes, felt the warmth of the sun, the breeze cooling the sweat on my skin. I tried to remember the freedom I felt, the peace I felt when we first got there, the hopes I had, the dreams I dreamt. I took a deep breath, feeling those feelings again, then opened my eyes to the rancor of disillusionment of, and the shattered pieces of those broken dreams in the sand for the wood rats and the rattlesnakes, the rattlesnakes and the wood rats, broken pieces that I hope they choke on. By next summer, no one will ever know that we lived, dreamed, and struggled here for over two years. The desert will win. The desert will always win. The elements will take what they want and leave nothing but heartbreak, sweat, and decay right here with all my dashed hopes, failure after failure. Stay out of the desert. The world is just getting more severe. Stay in the cities. Stay in the mountains. Stay on the farm. The desert is deserted for the reason that it wants nothing from you, has nothing from you, is nothing for you, is nothing, just miles and miles of sand and nothing more. Jack was right. You don't belong here. So yeah, so that's how I'm feeling. Um, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. As far as what I've been listening to, I've been listening to a lot of the cramps again, like early cramps. Um, I was listening to X a bunch this week, um, the first three albums, and sometimes dipping into the fourth. But um, I was listening to a lot of the cramps, and I was just letting Spotify play. And it was like coming up with some fucking bangers, dude. Like shit I'd never heard before. And, um, I saved a lot of those songs, um, 
but I haven't gone back to listen to them to like see what a lot of them were. But um, if you listen to like the first three Cramps albums on Spotify and then just let Spotify do its own fucking thing afterwards, you'll get some humdingers in there. Definitely, 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 definitely. So um, that's really cool. Like I, I've been just really digging it. Um, another thing I've been watching a lot more of and, um, again, um, this is where we will get into a political debate and I don't really want to do that, but if you have ever, or let me say it like this, if you've never checked it out, definitely give this a look and just see if anything of what they're saying resonates with you because, um, they are, they are progressives. So if you don't like progressives then you're probably going to hate this, but, um, I challenge you to just like watch one of the shows and just see what's said and see if anything of it sticks because, um, they go, they do go after Republicans and they go after Democrats. Um, but it's, it's not really a politic thing it's not like a pick a side thing it's a just are you a fucking good person like if you are a good person these are the things that you would want to do like it has nothing to do with your if you're a republican if you're a fucking democrat if you're anything if you care about fucking people and you care about the fucking future of this fucking planet and the future of the things that fucking live on it like it's, it's not a question. It's not a, um, there, there isn't a, is this right or wrong? It's like, do you fucking care or do you not? And that's all it is. So th what I'm talking about is, um, the young Turks, they're on YouTube. Um, and they have a couple other shows too. Indisputable with Dr. Rashad Ritchie is a super good show. Um, but really, I think I'm digging the damage report um, more than any of them. So um, just check those YouTube channels out. Young Turks, Indisputable, Damage Report. Um, and just give a watch. Just just pick one and watch it and see how you feel. Um, and if something rings out to you or if something like glares like horrible and you want to talk about it and just have a conversation just fucking email me i hate mattwall at gmail.com we don't have to have a fucking public debate we don't have to do any of that if you just want to talk about it just fucking hit me up um because i i would enjoy that like not not to debate but just to fucking talk about ways to make things better that's all i fucking really give a shit about right now Especially right now, because I'm feeling kind of down over everything that's been going on. So, okay, I'm going to shut the fuck up and just play a song real quick. And, um, again, this is going to be um, on the uh, Skin Slip album. And this is the oldest song on the Skin Slip album. This was written on November 24th, 1999. Seems like fucking forever ago. <laughs> And, um, I changed how this was played, so I don't know if I'm going to remember it necessarily. Um, oh yeah, okay, I think I got it now. So anyway, and because, um, I'm reading Dracula with everybody this month, this song was actually written about Dracula and more about an interview Bella Lugosi did um, back in the day. Um, it's called It Never Ends. things 
So anyway, um, I actually was hoping to start recording that, um, the album, uh, yesterday, but some shit came up and so I didn't get to it. So hopefully tomorrow I can start since the audiobook is now done and, um, the books are on their way here. And as soon as they get here, I will send those out to everybody. So again, um, sign up for the Patreon if you want some extra crap, um, and subscribe on YouTube, um, click, comment, bell, whatever, share, um, and run over to um, IHateMattWall.com and sign up for the RSS feed on that so you could get shit as soon as I post it. And I guess that's it. So um, until next time, everybody, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.